Hey guys, Josh Zamora here with a quick video to show you the SMS and ringless voicemail options built into Sendio to help you profit more with your mobile marketing. Okay, now step number one is to actually integrate Sendio with uh, Twilio. So you do need a Twilio account for this to work properly. Uh, and the good part about Twilio is that it's one of the top companies out there uh, for mobile marketing, but at the same time, it's a pay as you go platform so there is zero monthly fees it's only pay as you go okay so uh, once you have that set up and we do cover how to do that in the tutorial videos it takes you just a few minutes to do once that's set up then the next step is to go ahead and create your actual list uh, so we can do 3.0 demo list uh, you can add a description uh, and here's where the actual phone numbers go all right now if you just want to import the phone numbers exclusively you just uh, copy and paste them here or if you do want to add additional fields with those phone numbers then we do recommend using our import option you just click here and download our template and that will allow you to bulk import your phone numbers but also bulk import any additional fields that you want tied to those text messages so if you have those people's uh, name last name location all of that stuff that will allow you to import that as well by using our template. Uh, you also have the ability to add additional fields down here if you wanted to. Uh, you can also receive subscription notifications either by email or by SMS. So if you are running uh, these campaigns for your clients, you could have uh, the subscription notifications sent to your client's email or their uh, phone number so that they are getting those notifications in real time so that they can see, wow, we're getting a bunch of leads, right? This guy is actually getting results for us, okay? Uh, so you can do that as well. Another cool thing that we have down here is for your uh, potential uh, subscribers to subscribe by texting your Twilio number. So once you have that all set up, you can just have them send a text message to your Twilio number with subscribe to, and then the X would be uh, whatever the list ID is, or you can actually set up a particular keyword uh, that's tied to that list. And uh, we cover how all of that's done in the tutorial videos, but they can send subscribe to, um, you know, pizza XYZ list. Okay. Uh, and then they would be automatically subscribed to that. Okay. Um, and they can do initially, they can also unsubscribe from that list as well. Okay. But, uh, that is how you can set up multiple ways to import list and add people to your list as well. And then we also have forms, which is an additional way to collect uh, phone number leads as well. If you do want to add that to your website, um, and the lot, the list opt-in code and opt-out code is here. So you can do, like I said, pizza, um xyz and that's what be what would what gets put here if they are going to be uh subscribing by sending you a text to your twilio number and then from here you just click create and now that list has been successfully created okay uh, now from here just like with email you can go either do an sms broadcast so if i click add broadcast and then you can select uh, that list that we just created as well as uh, any other list that you have here on uh, the sending number and we also have the AI SMS generator here as well so it could go ahead and write my text message for me all right so I went ahead and wrote we are running a Valentine's Day sale for 50% off our best-selling pizza I'm gonna hit generate and now the AI turned that into treat yourself and your loved one this Valentine's Day get 50% 50 50 off our best-selling pizza now don't miss out shop now and all I have to do is either uh, put call us now, uh, call us at, and then put the phone number or put the website URL if this pizza shop does uh, have online ordering. Okay. Uh, and there you can see that it does have a text counter as well. So this will be sent in one SMS, which is good to know. The last thing you want is for multiple texts to be sent. Uh, and maybe the, you know, the, the call to action URL gets cut off or whatever it may be. Okay. You can see that, uh, some of these lists that I selected do have additional fields. Okay. So when you are building, uh, your list from your forms or you're importing those additional fields do pop up and you can see that some of them do have email, 
uh, connected to them as well so that when you're using hyper sequences that's how that works you're able to send emails and texts and Facebook messages and all of that okay and if you did want to uh, send an, an attachment then you could do that here so if you want to send a, a uh, you know a digital uh, flyer for some reason or a QR code that they can use to bring it in as a discount anything you want of that store you can click and drag it here if you want to send an audio file as well you can do that here um, and then you can either run this immediately or schedule it for the future as well all right uh, now I'm not gonna send that because I do have some actual people on this uh, list uh, but let me I'll just go ahead and schedule it for next week and then I'll go ahead and cancel it just so you guys can see how this gets created okay and once that actually gets sent you will be able to see stats uh, on that you can view the actual message uh, all of that stuff you can duplicate it and then you can see stats uh, here as well all right uh, and then you can do the same thing for SMS sequences uh, so here under um, let me go ahead and click add sequence you can see here it's pretty much the same thing the only thing is that you are actually just setting up multiple messages and the good thing here as you can see is that you can either mix and match between SMS and ringless voicemail okay but it's essentially the same exact thing so demo 3.0 sequence and you can do either existing list numbers or new list numbers okay uh, and the sending number and then here you would set up the first uh, text you can attach you can run immediately or you can start at a um, date in the future and then you can add another message oh i have to actually write something here add another message and there you can see the message two pops up and you do the same thing so uh, the sms sequence and broadcast is exactly the same thing uh, the only thing is that, you know, setting up the actual multiple messages and the schedule of how you want that to be sent. All right. And then here you can also enable uh, the preferable days and the preferable hours. Since we are talking text messages and ringless voicemails, the last thing you want to be doing is uh, to send uh, text messages and ringless voicemails to uh, people when uh, they are asleep or when they're uh, in uh, off business hours. So if your client just works Monday through Friday, it's a good, good idea to probably stick to having those emails sent just Monday through Friday and maybe just during their business hours. So maybe from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. Okay. And just have it be respectable since this is uh, messaging that's going out to their phone. Okay. Uh, and then that's how the SMS text messages works. And then the ringless voicemails, again, it works exactly the same. Uh, the only difference is the actual uh, way that the ringless voicemails is created. So it's exactly the same thing, but uh, what you can do with the ringless voicemail, it's either uh, send an MP3 file, which you would click and drag here. You can use the text, uh, so you can type it out here. Or uh, if you're here on the recordings, you can actually record your um, ringless voicemail prior okay so you would pretty much call this number follow the instructions and then within a few minutes that recording would show up here just like this one and then when you're setting up either your broadcast or your sequence that recording would show up as an option here okay you can see that it shows up right there and that's it that's how uh, our ringless voicemail option works as well uh, and then additionally we do have our calling feature uh, so if you did want to uh, have calls uh, inside of uh, Sendio you can go ahead and come here click on make a call um, you can choose uh, which call app you want to do and again we cover how to set all of this up inside of the tutorials tab and then you can type in the number that you want to call here and then the, uh, once that call is uh, made and you're speaking to the person you can go ahead and make notes and all of that here in this box so that you can know what you talked about with that person okay uh, oh and one thing that I forgot to cover as well is the SMS replies uh, so we do have um, automatic uh, SMS bot replies that you can set up so if uh, you're sending to a mass group of people and they start to reply with a specific keyword 
okay, you can make sure that our system replies to them right away. So if they reply with who is this, uh, then you can boom, have that, this be sent right away. If they reply with thanks, you're welcome. Okay, so all these different keywords that you can send so that uh, an automatic reply sends. So let's say that if maybe you send out a text that says reply to this text to claim your coupon code, the moment that they reply and they mention the word coupon, boom, you reach out and reply right away with that coupon code. And that's it. That is how uh, our SMS ringless voicemail and our calling features work. We have covered just about everything that you can do with your mobile phone, not only send messages, but automate the bot replies, send brainless voicemails, uh, and actually make calls inside of Sendio that are recorded as well. So anytime you make a call and it's recorded, you can just come here to my calls and all those calls that you made are recorded with the descriptions or with the notes that you make to them as well. So that's our SMS and ringless voicemail and calling features.